Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Blight League. In this episode, I plan to start off with some nice Harbinger encounter after four hours of uh, trying to beat this, coming up with different solutions to answering this Harbinger. Uh, we finally were able to beat it, so it was a six-minute encounter. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, show you... I'm going to cut it to when we get to the encounter. I'll show you a bit of the beginning of like the, the play style, and then I'll clip to near the end when when we uh, have the final fight, when it goes fucking ham on me, all right? Uh, enjoy. Okay, it's time to go beat the Harbinger encounter. Let's go try. We have 9700 ES. It's time. Time has come. Okay, I don't want to stay still in an encounter. I want to go around walls and fucking off screen this motherfucker. I'm going to keep looping around this dumb shit uh, as if I'm doing like a, a weird. I don't know, dude. I'm not actually doing this encounter properly. Fuck this thing. Fuck this encounter. I'm done. I lost one zombie. Um, it's not a joke when I say this is a stupid encounter. Uh, I am going to beat it here. I don't care. We're beating it. I'm over it. Let's get past this stupid harb. This is retarded. I've been doing this for four and a half minutes. This isn't okay. Ethan, why can't you go deeper in delving? Because it's broken. At 12.50, the game broke. I don't know why. I don't understand. What's wrong with this? That's the final part, dude. I can tell. I did it! I fucking did it, dude! Holy shit, man! What the fuck? Oh my god! I did it! This version is better! F all right, after I beat the Harbinger encounter, I was super happy. I was ranting. I went on for a little extra long, so I deleted it. It's gone. YouTube edit. Uh, so now, uh, I'm happy to announce, after the Harbinger, I was clear sailing through delving, making slight changes every now and then, messing around, burning currency, you already know. Uh, we made it to 1300. I'm going to show you the clip now. I hope you enjoy it. It's very wholesome. It's very enjoyable. It's, it's got some nice loot, and we got more to show in the video this isn't it uh, you you think that wow he cleared the harbinger oh my god he hit 1300 i got more this is a very nice video enjoy after a very very long day we hit we hit it dude we're at delve depth 1301 we skip 1300 exactly because you know but yeah this is the next encounter uh, let's check it out. This is in Petrified Forest, so it has um, some Roas, and they're pretty annoying because they like to headbutt you like dickheads. Um, but here we go. Delve Depth 1301. Uh, first, we have to pass through this fungal cavern, so we have obviously uh, zombies exploding that put down the degens that you have to flame dash by because it does so much chaos damage even with 58%. Um... It just gives you some time to react. Okay, we're still going straight. Uh, I have to focus a lot on which way I'm going because if I get sidetracked from the cart, it, there's a high chance that I'll get comboed by a shit ton of mobs where my minions can't help me because we go. I like travel super far into darkness if I stop paying attention. Um, 
Okay, this encounter is a really bad one, but hey, it, it, it was instantly finished, apparently just on arrival, which is really lucky, because the layout is terrible. Do you see how tight it is and how little room there is to walk around? Um, there's no way to, like, cyclone around the mobs. It was just... I'm in here. So this is this is the kind of loot I've been seeing at these kind of um, encounters. Like that's that's pretty good for a single encounter, right? Okay, I'll will show you some more because it's a lot of fun. We're at a very good point in the build, and I'm I'm really enjoying the crazy late game items. We have to push past 1306 because right now uh, second place on the ladder for uh, necro delving is 1306. So we must push in this video 1307 because not only did it today do I show off the level 31 raised zombie potential, right? Uh, 32 as well is is a thing um, with Mim. Uh, we also are going to take over the second spot. We passed 1300. We made progress in the delve. It's absolutely fucking insane. How much more can I do on this goddamn channel? <laughs> What's next, dude? Oh my god. How do I upstage this? How do I upstage all the stuff I'm doing on the channel? I'm setting the bar so high for myself. There's no way I'll be able to make something better than this. This is the best as it, get, as it gets, you know? How do I beat this? It's going to be a tough one, but I'll do it. We beat it. 1307. We're officially number two. Delver, Necro, in the game. Let's fucking go. Holy shit. Next. 1456 or whatever. That's the number one guy. Yeah, we're coming for you, boy. We're coming. We're We're coming. So we're doing it all with a viewer. Uh, he he just goes. He doesn't wait for me to load in. Doesn't ask if I'm there. It's all right. Um, we have torches. We can survive in the darkness. But yeah, we have an all. Uh, welcome back. We are going to complete this guy's all at delve depth 348. It's got some crit multi, some crit chance, some some fun stuff. Uh, if it hits you, it freezes you. So I had to tech into these boots with cannot be frozen just for this boss. I couldn't use soldier boots because when you get frozen, you stop cycloning, and it's really annoying. I could I could actually tank the boss, but I had no recovery. So if he hit me m a lot very quickly, I was screwed. Now it's easy. The boss is literally impossible to lose now. There's no way I lose this. Uh oh. Uh. The Gatling gun. No. No. <laughs> Ow. Look at that torch, dude. It's like it's not even dark in here or something. My torch literally lights up the whole room. <laughs> they get blue ice on uh, ground in this. That's actually weird as fuck. Does it hurt you? It does. Huh. It's not a lot of damage at this depth, but uh, they definitely have that. That's annoying. Imagine this ground killing you. Ooh. Yo, what's he doing, bro? Stop. Stop. I don't understand that phase. Is it a Gatling gun? And there's also the basically like 80% of the arena you can't run in, so you have to run in this small little one spot dodging his attacks? How? That quickly? We got it. So he showed me what he got from the all, all of you would be wondering. This is determination reserves no mana. I said, you're rich. He says it's 35 chaos. No, I looked it up. It's 2.95 X. Um, he's, he made a good amount of money from that one all in about what? A minute or two of fighting that thing. Well, GG. <laughs> Delve depth 1247 with my level 86 and a frozen hollow. So there shouldn't be any terrible ground we're just testing dps and shit for now it's high enough to do 1247 what the fuck
How? Oh, the leg. Oh, I'm... Uh... Uh... No chaos and knock, so that's... That, uh... Can this build farm 1246? This is uncompleted soul of Lunaris. Uh, Shikari not running the CI, just going as is. Uh, character's not even complete. This is under 15x budget. Uh, let's see if it can clear 1246. Should be pretty interesting. It seems to have enough damage. Uh, might be lacking like a, a slight a bit. But overall, uh, it seems to be doing okay. Let's... Hmm. 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 Why am I not getting hit at all? What the fuck is this, dude? This doesn't make any sense. It's fucking broken. Why? Why am I immune? Okay, good. Delve depth 1246. This is how you clear delve to uh, depth 1246 as a raider. So we just uh, abuse the fact that we can dodge and we just run through monsters phasing and shooting our arrow constantly. We have 1 HP with chaos inoculation. So if we get hit, we just die. Um, but the we're, we're immune to chaos and... Uh, Stay away from Blade Vortexes, stay away from that Dragon's Breath, uh, or the Mountain Line, however you want to call that thing. Stay away from Blade Vortexes. We could just set up shop here. Whoops, wrong button. Right, now you can just set up a wall. Rebuild the wall. You're Trump in this bitch, and uh, how is anything supposed to get you, you know? You've set up a wall, you're good to go, now everything's dead, and you can come out. My damage is lacking a little bit at 1246 maybe, or I'm missing. Probably the missing part. Okay, let's off screen. So we're gonna come over here. Please stop. These fuckers, get out of here. Okay, now we're good. So you just keep walling. You keep walling the passageway. How is it walking through? It's a ghost? Oh shit. Oh shit, they're ghosts, man. Okay, yeah, just spam R, your pots. Uh, we're un unaffected by Burning Ground because of our Pantheon. That's why. Um, and then you can just keep rebuilding the wall, shooting into the encounter, and you should be unstoppable as long as you keep doing this. And so you can clear every encounter in the game just by off-screening with a uh, frost wall. It's super broken. And so this gives me build ideas beyond just this. If this is possible, what else is, you know, with uh, with this uh, combination? Super powerful. Wait, can you just walk like this 24-7 spamming frost walls and your shot? How would anything get to you? Wait, I cleared it. And then died. Victory. Alright, now you see what I've done with the Ranger Raider. You, uh, people were wondering, Ethan, what are you going to do with the Ranger Raider? Uh, what's your plans? What, what are you going to do with the deck stacking O-Penis? And uh, yeah, that's what I did with it. Immediately took it deep delving and look at what it can do. Look at how broken Frostwall and off-screening is. Can we incorporate Frostwall into our build? I don't know. Uh, it's pretty interesting, isn't it? Like, what the heck is that build? I had to try it. This is what I meant by, I'm gonna try out this deck stacking Scourgero thing, and wow! Wow, that's, that's really good. So, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the Ranger and Raider. That's probably all we're gonna do, unless, uh, somebody has a request. Also, uh, the all, that was just an all for a viewer at 348. It was really easy, so it makes me want to go back to my alls and go do them, because... They seem more possible now with all of the improvements to the build. Um, and then we need to talk about on my Twitter, I'm running a build doctor news YouTube series. So 
go reply to my tweet with your profile and your and your character uh with the build and the concept i'm gonna work on your build i'm gonna make a video of of one of the builds i pick and uh i'll improve it all from what it is to something better from while keeping the main core concept so go follow the twitter go reply to the tweet that's running for a week until next wednesday or something so you have until the 30th we still have six days from when this video goes out don't worry you have tons of time uh and i will take in all requests of all builds don't worry i just need to mention this at the end of every single video uh, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this episode. We had a lot of stuff. We did our Harbinger at 1262 or whatever, that ridiculous one that finally unlocked Delving again for us. Then we pushed all the way to 1307, so we were number two on the ladder now. Poggers, we're doing it. We're unstoppable. And then we showed the all, and we showed the Ranger. All the stuff I had to catch up with people uh, all in one video. I had to keep Uber Alder on its own. Because that is an iconic video for Path of Exile in general. Uh, sorry that I had to delay this video. Because some of this was recorded uh, before the Uber Alder. But it's okay. Hope you have enjoyed. Um, take this opportunity to thank my Patreon and YouTube members. Uh, who financially support the channel. You can also financially support the channel for as little as 99 cents on YouTube memberships. Uh, I also added a new top tier role on YouTube members because someone already reached the other top tier, which I didn't think someone would reach. So I made a new one. It's Gamers, Gamer Gods, and it's it's like all capitalized with a three, and it's 79. There's no way, dude. There's no way. There's no way. Anyways, uh, I had to take off somebody's name from Patreon because apparently you can take back the money you've uh, supported for. That's pretty weird. Anyways, uh, thank you, White Wolf, Tradnix, Steven. And thank you to my YouTube members, Garbar, Tradnix, White Wolf, Farkbone, Kerbed, John, and Lelouch, Lamperug. Thank you guys so much. I didn't know that you could do that to Patreon. It doesn't matter. Hey, if somebody changes their mind, I'm sorry I couldn't uh, meet their interests or whatever. Uh, Elvis, Handy, thanks for subbing, dude. So... Bye.